much does this one, I guess, hurt Tyler, just given everything that was kind of at stake? Can you guys have a control of the playoff and stuff like that? Yeah, I mean, it hurts. You know, we were in control of our own destiny, and the Steelers came in, did a great job with their game plan. Um, they ran the ball really well, had a great um, possession, time possession, and, you know, they ended up leaving out of here with a win. I guess as the leader of this team, what do you, what do you <coughs> say to the guys? What do you guys need to do now to, to get back on track? Uh, I mean, just got to finish. We're in the same position as we were last year, so uh, we don't control our own destiny, so we kind of need a little bit of help and luck to be able to help us out again. But all you can do is just try to go take care of business. Last, this time last year, you guys were 8 point in Week 18, looking for help. We're in the exact same situation. Uh, that the game that really the game that matters after our game it doesn't matter if we don't take care of business. Was it, I, they kind of kept scoring. Was it hard offensively to you know kind of have to match that? That it turned into that kind of game at all? Or? Uh, I mean, I think that you know, I think that offensively, uh, I don't know how many times we actually had the ball the whole game, but uh, I mean, I think you know we're we can't shoot ourselves in the foot with penalties. We can't be um, second and long. I think we were, were we were getting some completions. We were moving the sticks at times. Uh, you know, better to take a touchdown than field goals. That would have kept us in the game a lot more. But I mean, we just got to continue to be efficient. Um, continue to just make sure that we're in the right spots and just being able to make sure that we keep the sticks the sticks moving so that we can be able to continue to play at a high level. Uh, is there a need to Uh, I mean, yeah, of course. I mean, obviously, a first and second down, you can get big chunks. At, you know, you want to be able to do that. Um, you know, but we got to be able to make sure that we're doing our part in the run game. We got to make sure we're because the run game is going to open up the play actions where we could be able to take more shots. So I think for us, we just got to be able to. If we're better on first and second down, we don't have to worry about third down as much. But when we do get into those third and shorts or third and fives, like we want to, we got to be able to capitalize on that because that's where we want to be at because we have a better chance of being able to be over 50 percent if we keep it within third and five. DK went over a thousand yards for the third time in five years. Just how have you seen him evolving as a player? Man, he's playing phenomenal this year. Uh, you know, he's making the best out of his opportunities. Uh, you see um, the explosiveness whenever he's catching the ball, being able to turn a 10, 12 yard catch into a 30, 40 yard um, catch. And I mean, the biggest thing for him, man, is he's growing, <clears throat> whether it's mentally or whether it's just on the field, he's always getting better at something. And I think that's the coolest part to be able to watch because each year you're able to see a different DK and, you know, he's blossoming in, in who he wants to be as a football player. Anything else? Thank you. Happy New Year.